Don't step on the camera. Good morning. It feels awesome to be in the Nevada desert um, because compared to maybe it's just the season, maybe it's because it's later. It's it's now pretty much spring, but uh, it doesn't really get that cold here at night. And it's so nice to just like leave the windows open and see everything, see, watch the sunrise as I wake up. <sighs> I feel alive. I feel so good. So, so good. And we have a lot of stuff to see today, so I'm not going to waste too much time talking about it. Gonna get the motorbike out and let's go for a rip. Oh, what a ride. That place is, uh, it's called Moon Rocks, but there's mostly just sand, at least in the areas I got to. I couldn't get the motorcycle all the way up the mountain because it got too steep and it was all sand. And I just, tires were spinning. I didn't have like the right traction. It's kind of like the first time I really noticed that my motorbike is like not enough of a dirt bike and too much of a street bike, you know? Because it's a dual sport, it occupies both spaces, but, um, yeah, I don't know. First time I've really noticed that. So I'm having a little ramen here, warm me up. It's actually kind of cool today, and the wind's howling. Having a, a, rice, um, a rice noodle ramen. Rice noodle's kind of nice. We're going to break up camp pretty soon. There's a lot of stuff to see in this area. So my next campground's not that far away, but we're going to go check out as many of the sites as we can today. Hmm, this is nice.
Welcome to Pyramid Lake. This is actually an inland sea. It used to be a giant inland sea that covered most of Nevada, but uh, that has since, uh, because of geological movement and stuff, kind of evaporated away eventually, and uh, this is pretty much the lowest bit of Nevada that doesn't really drain out that much, so this is the only part of the lake that's really left, or sea, I should say. It's called Pyramid Lake because of these little pyramid-shaped islands, these sharp little islands that uh, sit across the lake. There's a few of them, but uh, I think they're formed mostly from geothermic water. So like um, hot spring water that comes up full of sediment and leaves the sediment there. We'll be seeing some more of that stuff later today, hopefully, but uh, like a lot of desert lakes, it's really quite flat and it's not all that deep. Um, but this one's naturally forming, which means that uh, there's no dam anywhere in here. But um, it's on a reserve, and uh, in order to camp here and do other stuff here, you don't, you can't use the National Park Pass. Uh, you have to pay a different set of fees, so I won't be camping here tonight. I'm going to keep moving and, and heading north just to, uh, just to save on the budget, really, because honestly, this is pretty cool, and there's a lot of campsites here, and they're all very quite uh, dispersed and remote, and it's really nice. You get a good view of the lake pretty much anywhere. So I definitely suggest that if you don't already have a park pass to hit this place up. It's probably a pretty awesome campsite. And I can only imagine what the stars look like with the snow-capped mountains and the lake and everything else. It's probably crystal clear and beautiful. But alas, back on the road. All right, well, I drove up to here to uh, Fly Geyser, which uh, is actually on private property, so I can't actually get to it. Apparently, the non-for-profit Burning Man project owns the land, which is kind of cool. Um, they're setting it up eventually to like welcome guests and stuff, which would be kind of cool once that's done. So Fly Geyser is really pretty, but it's not a natural wonder. These are man-made holes drilled looking for hot springs that ended up getting these 200 degree hot springs. The water comes up so hot, leaving all of calcium and, and all of this stuff right at the surface where it comes out. The really beautiful thing about the fly geyser though is the colors. And the colors happen because of the strange kinds of bacteria that grow in and around these hot, hot, hot springs. This bacteria feeds on the minerals coming up from the hot spring, and since they're the only thing that can live in that boiling hot water, they thrive there. And that's how you see all these colors.
So did you look at that? I got to see Fly Geyser and I didn't even break the law. <laughs> this channel is keeping me honest, man. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm YouTubing and putting everything online, I definitely would have jumped the fence and gone check it out for myself. But it's also nice to have the drone so I can like trespass their airspace, but not their physical space. You know what I mean? So it's not really trespassing. It's kind of like... It's a gray area. I'm not gonna fight about the technicalities, but anyway, it's cool to see. It's really cool, and I can't wait till they actually open it so that the rest of us can like go and actually see it in person, not through a little tiny screen. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna go find a campsite for tonight. Let's do this. Champ, you ready? I've been giving him a hard time today. He keeps breaking things. He tried to destroy my laptop again, like he did a little while ago. You made a run for that cable, buddy. You tried to pull it right off the freaking couch. You're a monster. All right, campsite, let's do this. Well, I'm not gonna say that was the worst road I ever drove down, but it's definitely close. Uh, we're gonna check this out. There's a lot of camping nearby. I'm definitely gonna camp in this area, but apparently there's a hot spring right here, so I'm not gonna take the van any further because I'm probably gonna get it stuck or something, so. Now's the point to start hiking. <laughs> After my back took a beating on that road, this is perfect. This is exactly what I needed. This is nice. so great getting a bath here and uh, watching the sunset over these mountains is amazing. This is so good. I just wish Champ would uh, not roll in the mud right after he has a bath. Wait a second, you're not Champ. Keep the catch.
Champ, did you see all the dogs? Oh, Champ, why do you have to do that? Ugh. Champ, why did you roll in the mud? Anyways, I've just met some uh, local people from Reno and uh, they invited me to join them around the campfire. So we're gonna do that and uh, eat some dinner and hang out with some locals. Get to know the area. They also have a boatload of dogs. <laughs>